Have you ever looked at a bowl of crisp, cool bean sprouts and wondered how they're grown, not just in small home trays, but on a massive industrial scale that feeds entire cities every day? It's easy to take these refreshing, crunchy little greens for granted, but behind every bag of fresh bean sprouts at your local grocery store is a fascinating process that blends science, precision farming, and sustainability. Today, we're diving into the world of modern bean sprout production to uncover how tons of fresh, clean, and nutrient-rich sprouts are produced every single day and how it's all done in a clean, soil-free environment that respects both food safety and the planet. It all begins with tiny, carefully selected green mung beans, sometimes soybeans or black beans, depending on the sprout variety. These seeds are chosen for their purity, size, and germination potential. The selected beans are loaded into sterilization machines that use controlled heat to eliminate bacteria, fungi, and any other harmful pathogens without damaging the bean's ability to sprout. After heat treatment, the beans are rapidly cooled and washed in filtered water, ensuring that each seed is clean, hydrated, and ready for the next step in its transformation next. The washed beans are transferred into specialized hydroponic growing chamber stall, stainless steel containers, designed to create the perfect environment for sprouting. Inside these sealed sterile units, temperature, humidity, water flow, and oxygen levels are constantly monitored and adjusted to mimic nature's most favorable conditions. This is farming without soil, relying only on pure water and air too. Encourage growth. Over the next 10 days, the beans slowly begin to change, first forming tiny white roots, then growing upward into crunchy white stalks. The transformation is nothing short of incredible. By day 10, each growing container is bursting with about one ton of fresh, healthy, vibrant bean sprouts all grown without soil, chemicals, or sunlight. When the sprouts reach the ideal size, it's time for harvest. Workers carefully extract the sprouts and send them through a washing line where any remaining seed coats or husk fragments are removed. Natural bean sprouts grow with long root tails, but for commercial sale, these roots are trimmed using custom-built equipment that gently cuts the ends without damaging the sprout itself. Another water rinse follows to remove any remaining debris or loose ends. At this stage, the sprouts are clean, uniform, and ready to be sorted and weighed. Each batch of bean sprouts goes through a rigorous quality control system. The sprouts are passed through metal detectors, moisture sensors, and automated weight checkers to ensure each package contains just the right amount. This precision helps maintain consistency for customers and assures retailers that every slash bag meets strict food safety standards. Once approved, the sprouts are loaded into plastic packaging, vacuum sealed or tightly closed to preserve freshness and then labeled for shipment. From here, the sprouts are trucked out to supermarkets, restaurants, K, and households all across the country. But what makes this process truly unique is that it doesn't stop at raw sprouts. At some factories, like Salad Cosmo, bean sprouts are also turned into valuated products like Japanese-style seasoned sprouts. These are made by blending freshly harvested sprouts with authentic Japanese seasonings like sesame oil, soy sauce, vinegar, and chili. Each small batch is taste-tested for balance crunch, and seasoning to ensure every bite is flavorful, refreshing, and ready to serve. These seasoned sprouts are a favorite in bento boxes, rice bowls, and salads bringing a savory, umami-rich component to everyday meals. Even the leftover materials from production don't go to waste. After the sprouts are separated from their seed shells, those leftover green bean pods are collected and sent into a rotating, drying drum. With controlled heat and gentle airflow, the pods are dried slowly to preserve their aroma and nutrients. Once dried, they're packaged into a completely different product, green bean shell tea, rich in antioxidants and believed to help support digestion and metabolism. This tea is sold as a functional beverage with real health benefits. 
It's a brilliant example of sustainable production transforming what was once food waste into something healthy and marketable to maintain the purity of every batch. All water used in the growing and washing process is continuously filtered, recycled, and monitored. Employees wear clean room grade protective gear and follow strict hygiene protocols to prevent any form of contamination. It's a level of cleanliness you'd expect in a pharmaceutical lab. Here, it's used to grow food. It's incredible. To think that a completely soil-free hydroponic environment using only fresh air and water can grow literal tons of food in just over a week. The beauty of bean sprouts isn't just in their crunch or mild flavor, it's in their versatility. They're one of the easiest ingredients to prepare and enjoy. Whether you toss them into a hot bowl of ramen, stir fry them with garlic and beef, add them to a Vietnamese banh mi sandwich, or just eat them raw with a splash of soy sauce and sore. And sesame oil, they deliver a satisfying snap and a cool freshness that enhances every bite. Their light texture and clean taste allow them to blend beautifully into all types of cuisine. From Korean and Chinese dishes to Thai curries and even modern American fusion cooking. Beyond their culinary uses, bean sprouts pack some serious nutrition. With only about 30 calories per 100 grams, they're an incredibly low-calorie food, perfect for anyone watching their weight. They're loaded with fiber, which supports healthy digestion and helps you feel full without overeating. One of their most impressive benefits is their high vitamin C content. Just 100 grams of fresh bean sprouts can deliver up to 13 milligrams of vitamin C, about 15% of your daily recommended intake. That's a powerful antioxidant that helps strengthen your immune system, supports collagen production for healthy skin, and improves iron absorption. And because they're grown in a controlled environment without pesticides or chemical fertilizers, they're often safer and cleaner than other conventionally grown vegetables. Before that zesty splash hits your tacos or your summer cocktail, the humble lime goes on an incredible journey from farm to table. You might think it's just another citrus fruit, but behind that bright green peel lies a story of global farming, precise handpicking, and advanced processing. Ever wonder how millions of limes are grown, harvested, cleaned, and transformed into everything from bottled juice to seasoning powder? You're about to discover just how much work goes into bringing this tiny, tangy powerhouse into your kitchen. Every year, nearly 3 million tons of limes are harvested around the world to meet growing demand in restaurants, grocery stores, juice bars, and home kitchens. Though their roots trace back to Southeast Asia, limes have since spread across the globe thanks to ancient trade routes. Today, the world's largest lime producers include Mexico, Brazil, and India, where the warm, humid climates and rich. Well-drained soils create ideal conditions for citrus trees to thrive. These lime trees love sunlight and flourish in tropical or subtropical regions with moderate rainfall. And while some citrus varieties have distinct harvest windows, lime trees often produce fruit all year round, with peak seasons typically stretching. From May through September, depending on the region, unlike oranges or apples, which are often picked with machines, limes are still largely harvested by hand. They're thin, easily bruised skin, and uneven ripening patterns make machine harvesting too risky. Workers walk through the orchards inspecting each tree, carefully choosing only those fruits that have reached optimal ripeness while leaving others to mature further. Protective gloves and pruning shears are used to prevent skin damage, and each lime is gently placed into a basket or crate to avoid bruising. This kind of manual labor might sound old-fashioned, but it's still the best way to guarantee top quality and freshness. Once the limes are picked, they're quickly transported to nearby processing facilities. These centers are equipped with high-tech cleaning systems designed to handle huge volumes of fruit while maintaining safety and freshness. First, the limes pass through water baths on conveyor belts. Soft rotating brushes scrub away dust, soil, and natural residues collected in the orchard. 
A food-safe sanitizing solution ensures the limes are clean and safe to eat before moving on to the next stage. After cleaning, the limes are sorted by both machines and human inspectors. Advanced optical scanners detect blemishes, color variations, and size differences to separate the highest grade limes for fresh consumption. Those with minor imperfections, like slight discoloration or dents, are typically sent off for juice. Production or further processing. Any fruit that doesn't meet quality standards is repurposed as compost or animal. Feed to reduce waste and keep the entire operation sustainable. Next comes packaging. The best limes are placed in ventilated crates, mesh bags, or cardboard boxes that allow airflow and prevent moisture buildup. From there, they're stored in refrigerated warehouses, where temperature and humidity are carefully controlled to extend shelf life and preserve that juicy interior. These storage centers are the last stop before limes are shipped off to grocery chains. Wholesalers, restaurants, and food service suppliers across the country and around the world. But limes aren't just sold fresh. Many are processed into products. You probably use all the time without even thinking about it. Lime juice is a top seller. After extraction, the juice is filtered and pasteurized to remove any impurities and extend its shelf life. It's then either bottled or concentrated, ready to be added to dressings, marinades, sodas, or those tart, refreshing cocktails you love on a summer day. There's also lime powder made by drying and grinding the pulp or peel. This tangy powder packs a punch and is often used in spice blends, snack coatings, seasoning rubs, and even cosmetic products. It delivers the bright, citrusy punch of lime in a convenient shelf-stable form. Of course, none of this would be possible without healthy, productive lime trees. It all starts in the nursery, where young lime seedlings are carefully cultivated under controlled conditions. Farmers often use grafting techniques to create trees with stronger disease resistance, improved fruit yield, and better quality. These young trees receive constant care daily watering, rich soil, and lots of sunlight to give them the best possible start. Once they're strong enough, usually after two to three years, they're transplanted into orchards where they'll grow into full-size trees and begin their fruit-bearing cycle. As the trees mature, you begin to blossom small white flowers that not only smell amazing, but also attract pollinating insects. These flowers slowly give way to baby limes that absorb nutrients from the tree as they grow. Over the next several months, the fruit increases in size, darkens in color, and eventually reaches the perfect point of ripeness for harvesting. And then the entire cycle begins again. Each lime picked is part of a larger system that blends old world farming techniques with modern agricultural science. The journey of a lime, from seedling to harvest, from the processing plant to your fridge, is a carefully planned, labor intensive process. It combines hands on agricultural know how with modern food safety standards and global logistics. And despite their small size, limes play a huge role in our diets and our food culture from brightening up guacamole, tin ceviche, to balancing the sweetness of a cocktail or providing the acid that makes a marinade sing. So the next time you squeeze a lime wedge over your tacos or shake a few drops into your soda, remember that you're enjoying the end result of years of growth, months of care, and hours of labor by people and machines working together around the world. Limes might be small, but their journey is anything but.